Hello, welcome to another Ubuntu blog. Uh, it's a video blog that I do usually like once a month, just as a little catch up for what's going on in the Ubuntu world. Um, it's April the 6th today, and we just have a landing for uh, OTA 10, uh, which goes to the phones and the tablets. I have a, a BQ HD5, which I've been messing around with for the past few weeks, so I decided that I was going to wipe it clean and go back to standard as from OTA 10 because things are quite good all the features are quite good and I didn't want to be running on proposed and getting like updates every day and things break and stuff I just want to settle down with the phone now so uh, instead of waiting around until it was pushed on my phone I basically um, pulled the image from over the internet and I got OTA 10 first thing instead of waiting around um, lots of bug fixes the phone's totally different now um, they've done all sorts of fixes um, in web browsers and convergence um, which is coming well which is here now we can we can actually use convergence um, which means we can basically get devices and plug them into like monitors and stuff like that and, and use them as full-blown PCs um, the next um, update will be well it's not an update I've actually pre-ordered the Ubuntu N -tab -tab and M10 tablet which uh, I ordered it last week and it, you, you're due to get it two weeks into April so that'll be around the 14th maybe to the 20th that I'll have the M10 tablet which is a full convergence device 10 inch um, Ubuntu tablet which matches the, the HD5 so I'll have two similar devices and then on the 26th of April we have uh, XNIL which is um, the next release of Ubuntu which is Ubuntu 1604 LTS which means uh, LTS stands for a long term solution so it's not like it doesn't just last for a year it lasts for like four five six years up to six years of updates so you can basically wipe your home computer and just run on that version uh, solely until the next LTS comes out which is good if you want to keep running a stable machine I have a, a small um, Intel nut box which is a you know hand size um, and that's my main media server and I run that on the uh, long-term solutions and as, as well as uh, I, have a, I have a Dell XPS um, that's an Ubuntu tablet and I run that on LTS long-term solutions because once you've installed Ubuntu you just want to just keep running it you don't want to be messing around with it all the time well some of us do some of us don't but I don't I, I want this to work every day so I run LTS versions on this as well so that, that comes out on um, the 26th of April although I have jumped the gun a little bit and I have put it on the tablet and it is on my nut box already so I'm already running I'm running beta versions which will just run in to the release version anyhow so that that is an option that you can do um, the, the update today is um, quite good it's made a lot of difference to the BQ HD5 um, I've been running on cloud on this which um, syncs all my documents and stuff uh, and sync evolution to do the calendar now I've wiped this 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 morning and, I've, and I, I haven't made it you can make these phones read right I haven't done it this time uh, because I've, I'm using sync evolution for uh, the calendars which a script is what I've made that's that's working but the on cloud part somebody's sussed out a, a way of doing it without having to make your phone read right now I've, I've copied the files onto they're, they're in place and I'm just waiting I'm just looking at some instructions and some more information now to make it so that on cloud actually runs um, without being read right so um, I'm going to finish that off today sometime um, so yeah there's quite a lot going on at the moment um, over the next couple of weeks I'll probably show you the blog on the um, Ubuntu tablet when that comes and I can show you that running convergence I can show you it running like full blown um, Ubuntu desktop apps which is going to be quite interesting you can run it you can run it dual screen so you can have you can drag stuff from the um, tablet over onto your big screen or I've been told that you can use the actual tablet as a uh, a device for controlling it so like a mouse so you, you can do like finger gestures on it and stuff and and then use the big screen as a to view so but I don't know too much about that until I actually get it in about a week maybe two weeks so um keep your eyes peeled for that blog uh, I'm just trying to think there's anything new that's about it really I haven't been doing anything with um, the Raspberry I had Snappy Core running on that and I was looking at Docker images um, but I haven't had time to really look any more into that but I'm going to be doing that soon so keep your eyes peeled for the uh, the next blog with the uh, Ubuntu M10 tablet bye